soul feels empty now The pain builds up inside I tried so many times To imagine that you're here Pretend you're coming back Pretend that you're still near But it's no use now You've moved on But just remember this You got a piece of my heart So please remember me and my love Don't have a wash away those tears We both cry And as we go our separate ways I remember you each day And maybe one my broken heart Another lonely day Another sleepless night I wonder what you're feeling And who's now by your side I wish I could have changed the way the story Please remember me, my love Don't have a wash away those tears We both cry And as we go our separate ways I remember you each day And maybe one day you'll return With my broken heart Afternoon, afternoon, dear friends, buon pomeriggio. Here is Giada Valenti. Welcome, everybody in Saint Landry. This is welcome today here in my kitchen. As today we are cooking. Well, you know, I am Giada Valenti, born and raised in Venice, Italy, the booth of Italy. But of course, I am a singer and a songwriter. But today, on Saturday, from my kitchen, 
we always cook. So on Saturday, I am always a cook of easy and delicious food because I am a singer. Today, it's a very special day. Actually, if you are on my social media and you saw that it was a bittersweet day for me and JJ, JJ is behind the camera, as today we lost uh, JJ's father, our beloved Pete Power. He was a run of sunshine. I love my father-in-law. Yeah, I have also a picture to show you with Pete a couple of years back with JJ, Michiel, Hanukkah, and Lawrence. Those are all the kids of Pete. Pete is there in the middle. And it was a very special, beautiful day. Pete was a lover of life. So if he was alive today, he would say, show must go on. And for sure, you guys need to be cooking and drinking. So at the end, we're gonna be having a, a prost and chin chin to life of Pete. So Pete, travel safe wherever you're going. I put a post on my social media just to picture, to paint the pictures of what Pete was. Pete was uh, somebody who was, uh, even as an old man, he could enjoy little thing. He was always admiring the sun, the clouds, the sky, the flowers, a beautiful, he was crazy about sweet stuff and desserts. I should have made a dessert today for Pete. He loved dessert. The last birthday we celebrate together with him, I think he had two pieces. He also suffered of Alzheimer. He died actually of Alzheimer in the last couple of years, so he couldn't even remember he was eating the cake. But even before, when he didn't have this problem with memory, he was always willing to have a second piece of cake. But two years ago, at the last birthday of Pete, we were in Holland. Pete had just had a big piece of brownie, and then he saw the cake again, and he said, oh, I haven't had the cake yet. So we serve him a second pa a plate. We, we didn't, he didn't have any diabetes. He didn't have any physical uh, problem. Actually, he was a runner, which reminds us that it's very good to move. Uh, Pete had run the marathon in New York and several other marathons. Actually, at all the age, he was living next to the beach in, in uh, the south of Holland, and he had this beautiful place. He was very proud that his house had the view on the oceans and the beach. So that's what we imagine Pete to be today, to be in heaven, admiring all the things that he was looking at. So Pete, travel safe. And at the end, we're gonna have a chin chin with JJ to Pete. So today we are in the kitchen, guy. We are cooking. We are cooking today some delicious pasta. This is sign languages because we do all kind of things here to help people that can hear for because there. During this COVID-19, we're covering our mouth and they have no idea what is going on. So together with my friends, Diane Sarin Sorrentino, we had included for more than 100 episodes some sign language. This is the one that we all know, which means I love you and I really do love you all for having been with me for such a long time. Without further ado, let me put the water to cook. So, because we need to cook some pasta. So. The pasta will be boiling soon. Hopefully, I put it into the max. I totally forgot about the past the pasta. And while the pasta is cooking, let let me tell you very quickly uh, a few things. First of all, you know that uh, I'm going home now three times a week. This is my summer schedule, so not every day now. It's actually on Tuesday with a celebrity interview. On Thursday, we do Italian cultures and lifestyle together with Italian Living. If you have not liked their page, please go to italianliving.com and you find there the link of their social media. They post every day, just like me, all kind of beautiful things about Italy. And then on Saturday, I'm always in the kitchen cooking with you. Actually, tomorrow, Sunday, we're gonna be trying this live streaming uh, setting that we have on my Patreon page as I wanna sing for you. Many of you were saying, you are a singer, so when are you singing for us? So we couldn't do it on YouTube and Facebook. There are all these kind of troubles with uh, rights. So I have this page, the Patreon page.com, patreon page.com slash Gianna Valenti. JJ will put the link for you. And tomorrow we're gonna start what I'm gonna call, not, it's not gonna be a concert. Tomorrow especially we're gonna be doing some love song just to test the camera and to see if this new streaming setting works. So join me on Patreon if you wanna see me uh, and hear me sing tomorrow. And uh, you know, I always have the most amazing guests. You guys are complimenting me all the time, and I'm always say, "Our blessings they came from the sky to me, from my uh, 
in my life I've been lucky. And actually, a, a lot of my guests have this beautiful story. They write books. I, we had Tom Dreesen. I, I know many of you have been writing the book. Uh, we had so many. Tony Orlando, uh, Felix Cavaliere, who is writing a book or will be ready soon. And I also had, of course, Margaret Carey, that was the original Tinkerbell from Walt Disney, and Dreema Denver, the wife of Bob Denver, humanitarian and actress themselves. They both wrote beautiful book. And uh, Diane and, and, and actually, Diane Fiorentino and Sal, they bought both books. So I want to show the pictures because that's how they got the book. This is, of course, thank you, Diane and Sal. That's Dreema, Dreema Denver when she was my guest and with the four beers uh, books. It's, it's a children's book, very beautiful. If you uh, have children, I would really suggest you buy uh, one. It's a short story. And the other one was Margaret Carey, of course, the real, real life Tinkerbell when Walt Disney made Tinkerbell for Peter Pan. And look at that. Uh, Diane and Sal ordered the book. By the way, that's 91 years young woman over there. And she signed the book. So you get the book signed by uh, Margaret Carey. So thank you, Margaret, for sending the books to uh, my circle of love. My water is already boiling. But I cannot put the pasta in, it's too soon, because first, we are gonna be doing, first, let me show you first what I'm gonna have, and about guests, let me tell you, Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, I'm very excited, I was able to uh, arrange for me as my guest, Steve Terrell. Many of you, of course, is a Grammy Award winning vocalist and producer. He worked with Bacharach, he worked with Diane Warwick, he worked with so many famous, famous, famous singers. And now he's, of course, a very famous singer himself. You know his voice for many, many movies. You may not know there was Steve Terrell serenading you, but it was Steve Terrell. So we're going to have him on Tuesday. Without further ado, let's do before we start cooking this delicious pasta with uh, almond pesto and cherry tomatoes. It's a very, it's a vegetarian recipe. It's very light, it's delicious and very easy to make. JJ is gonna show you the pictures. That's gonna, that's one I made a couple of weeks ago. It's delicious and you are gonna love it. If you are making today with me, I'm gonna tell you in a second the ingredients and we're gonna, we will be cooking that together. But before, since the time to make the recipe is really 50 minutes, let me first uh, go on with the events and birthday of today, July 18th. Very quick, thanks to our friends Doug Artline in uh, Sacramento. Here we go. So July 18th in history, this is what happened. Uh, in 64 AD, long, long, long ago, the Great Fire of Rome begins under the Emperor Nero. Nero, we call it in Italy. As you know, I studied at school and I had to know everything about these things. So, and JJ has a pictures. It was a big, big fire that basically set all fires in uh, to ashes, actually. And there he was singing. Nero was crazy, basically. So, in 1334, the Bishop of Florence, staying in Italy, blessed the first foundation stone for the new Campanile, the bell tower of Florence Cathedral, designed by Giotto di Bordone. If you have been, when you go to Florence, of course, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, bell tower. And in 1968, Intel Corporation is founded in Santa Clara, California. Doug is making fun. He said that's when it started, uh, uh, everything started, and that's why Jada is having trouble with her computer ever since. It's still true. In 1968, hard to believe. Not so long ago. And in 1976, Nadia Comaneci became the first gymnastic in Olympic Games history to score a perfect 10. Uh, on the Montreal Games. They even didn't have a 10 on the score for her, so they put a 1 with a couple of zero because it, nobody had achieved a 10. And in 1994, the comet Shoemaker and Levi's collides with Jupiter, leaving a black spot of 12,000 kilometers, which is 7,500 miles across. This is 15,000 miles wider than the distance between San Francisco and Venice, Italy. It's inconceivable to imagine something that large eating Earth. It's true, dog. Unbelievable. Birthday of the day, July 18. My friend in Italy, Nicoletta Ambrosio, if you're watching, she's been a best friend of mine ever since I was a child. Nico, se, se ci stai guardando, tanti auguri a te. Buon compleanno, Nico. And let's go in 1670, when Giovanni Battista Bononcini, opera uh, Italian composer, was born in Modena, Italy, and was world-renowned for his work uh, reviling even the contemporary handle of the Handel's Messiah's fame. Of course, we listen to that Messiah every Christmas. 
And in 1891, Gene Locker, the American actor, uh, Going My Way, Christmas Carol, and Miracle on 34th Street, one of my favorite movies, was born in New York City, New York. We recently, it's true, we celebrated the birthday of his famous daughter, Jane Locker, who turned 95. And there on the pictures on the bottom, we see him, of course, with his wife, who's also an actress, and a very young Jane. And in 1909 today, Harriet Nelson, Peggy Lou Snyder, really name, a real name, Italian singer and actress, who became uh, a household name with her television show The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, was born in Des Moines in Iowa. Her son was a famous uh, singer, Ricky Nelson. Look how beautiful she was. And in 1911, Hume Cronion, Canadian Academy Award nominated actor, uh, who starred in many times, uh, in many uh, uh, Academy Award um, uh, movies with his wife, uh, uh, Jessica Tandy, that we see there on the picture, the famous Miss Drive, uh, Driving Miss Daisy, one of my favorite movies, was born today in London, Ontario, and they were married for 52 years until they, she passed away. I love this kind of story. And in 1913, Red Skelton, Emmy Award winning actor and winner of the Gold, uh, Golden Globe for Outstanding Achievement. There he is, look at the funny face. He was born in Vincennes, Indiana. He uh, may be most known for his radio and television show that ran from 1937 to 1971. That's very long. And he was also a very accomplished actor. I only know his face. I have to get more into his work. And in 1921, John Glenn, one of the original seven astronauts who was the first American to orbit Earth and later senator of Ohio, was born in Cambridge, Ohio. There is a picture of the first and the last time he went to space because he will return to space again Again, in 1998 to see the effects of aging in the space flight. He was so in such a good shape that he was able to fly even at that older age. Very handsome gentleman. And in 1950, Richard Branson, we all know him as the founder of the Virgin Group, was born in London and turns today 70 years young. There's our Richard Branson. And in 1967, actor Vin Diesel is born in Alameda, California and turns 53 years old today. While he's not Italian, he did play an Italian-American Private Adrian Carpasso in the Tom Hanks World War movie, Saving Private Ryan. It's true, I love that movie. 1980, last two birthday of the day, Kristen Bell is born in Antinton Woods, Michigan, and turns today 40. Look how beautiful she is. While she may not be Italian, like he's saying, she starred in When in Rome. It's a very funny movie. If you have not seen it, it's on Netflix. And she was the voice of Anna in the Disney film Frozen. Let it go. Yes. And she's married to Dex Shepard, you saw in that pictures, and they have two the most adorable kids. You can follow them also on social media. They are amazing together. And last birthday of the day, 1982, Priyanka Chopra was born in Yamskepur, India, and turned 38 today. There's a picture. She's winner of the Mixed World Pageant in 2000, and she becomes one of the highest paid actresses in Bollywood, not Hollywood, but Bollywood. And her role in the 2008 film uh, earned her a Filmfare Award for the National Film Award of Best Actress. And she's also a singer, and she's married to pop singer Nick Jonas. Jo JJ, did you show the pictures of her? We couldn't find the pictures of her. So, but you know who she is. Otherwise, Google her, Priyanka Chopra. Go and Google it yourself. Those were the birthday and the events of today. Probably I forgot to put, you know, we said that Intel started today in 1968 and we have all this internet problem. That's one. I hair drop it on the other computer and apparently he didn't hair drop it to the computer of JJ. Without further ado, today we are cooking because today I am, I want to, today we are cooking and today I am a chef. All these sign language for things that we have learned today. And today I'm going to make some delicious pasta. Actually, spaghetti pasta. I'm going to tell you in a second. Spaghetti pasta with pesto. Actually, is a specific pesto made with almond and with some cherry tomato. So, since the pasta is boiling, but I have to put it on the last minute, let's start to do it with the tomato. There is the um, ingredients. You need some pasta, you need, of course, uh, uh, garlic, uh, you need almonds, you need a bunch of, uh, of course, f fresh basil, you need pecorino cheese and parmesan cheese. I like to mix them together, olive oil and salt and paper, of course. And then you need some cherry tomatoes, salt, oil and paper and parmesan cheese. 
for the pasta at the end. So JJ is coming back. Let's start to making this cherry tomato. So you wash truly your cherry tomato. They are very sweet even to eat like that. You take them and you have to put them in an oven for um, an oven. You put the oven on 380 Fahrenheit. So you cut your tomatoes in small pieces like this one and you put them. I like to use the paper the oven paper so when I take them out later you would see they don't stick and it's very easy to put them in so you cut all your tomato in half cherry delicious tomato and by the way if you get bored you can also put in your mouth and eat like that I always do I don't do it now otherwise I get all ready my face and by the way this is the word for tomatoes this is red this means red and this is tomato because tomatoes, you cut them. And red is also my favorite color. So we do a lot about deaf awareness in this program. And very soon, next week, actually, we're going to have also some masks, some exclusive masks for this COVID-19. I know some of you have seen pictures of me, and you guys were all admiring that mask. So with Diane, together with Caddy, we made a few, a limited number. They are very beautiful because I get compliments all the time. And you guys can be, uh, will be able to buy them and support, of course, deaf awareness and to help and support me. So that's basically what you do. You cut in half all your little tomatoes. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. You cut them, you cut them like this, and you put them on this little baking paper, paper for your oven. The oven is already warm, of course. You cut them like this. I try to do it. Uh, oh, because then, of course, I already prepared one that I'm going to take in the oven. It's going to be ready in a second. But I want you to show you to show you exactly how easy and fast it is. All your tomatoes in half. I show you in a second how you put them all on the bottom of your paper. All my recipe, by the way, because I am a singer and a songwriter, normally I'm traveling and I, not right now, doing the concert, but when I'm home, I always try to uh, make some uh, uh, delicious food for me. And I like to make food that sometimes I can put in the refrigerator and warm up. This is one of the few recipes that it takes so little time to make that uh, I never make it uh, in advance. So normally I come home, even if I'm traveling and I'm tired, I just wash up stuff. I make sure I have a plant of basilica always in my kitchen. By the way, with a beautiful vase that I got from uh, Elena, Elena Beninato for my birthday with the orchid, and then now is in another vase because it got too big. So here we go. And by the way, if you want to watch all the episodes, you can always go on jada.life and you can watch it. So you put all your tomatoes like this one, in this little uh, oven uh, tray. So you put on the top a little bit of Parmesan. What I did, I, I, I grated some Parmesan cheese and uh, Pecorino cheese and I put them together. I like the, the taste of, 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 of them together. So you just sparkle a little bit of this cheese on top of it. You take some red paper flake. I like to make it a little bit picante. You put it like that, not too much, just a little bit, a little bit of salt. A little bit of olive oil, not much, like this, voila. You put this one in the oven, this is the first thing you do. You put it in the oven at uh, 380 uh, uh, Fahrenheit, which is 160 in, in Celsius, and you let it cook this one, I would say like for 25-30 uh, minutes, depending on the oven. In this one, is it never gets so hot, so it takes, it takes me 30 minutes, and I show you how they're gonna be when they're ready. This one I made them this morning, as you can see. You can see, you can take them and taste them actually. Mm -hmm. So guys, a lot of time I make this one actually, and then I put them on a piece of bread and bread and I eat them like a kind of warm ciabatta. So this is gonna be ready to put in my pasta in a second. And my water is boiling, so I take my spaghetti. I like uh, the brand of Barilla, but uh, the Checo, there are many, many brands. Today I decided to use this one. I only have a question of Barilla if you're watching. In Italy, pasta, spaghetti has numbers. So you have three, four, six, and the bigger is the number, the, the thicker are the spaghetti. Here, the spaghetti are only one kind, and for me as an Italian girl, these are very thin, so I wish they had also here, and I, did, I didn't have time to go and look for maybe to have a, a thicker kind of spaghetti. So but anyway, you take your spaghetti, that's my water here, because the spaghetti is written that it will take 10 minutes to cook, so the water is boiling. I put some salt, I break my spaghetti, 
and my spaghetti will be cooking. He says 10 to 11 minutes, so I will say to uh, my uh, Google timer to have the timer at 10. So, hey Google, set timer to 10 minutes, please. He's not answering. Hey Google, set timer to 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. I always talk to him all the time. So, while he's doing that one, we are going to be making the pesto. The pesto, uh, which the word for pesto, let me see. So, P E S S, sorry, lady. This, the T, I think, was, I don't remember how was the T. Uh, pa, 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 pa. That's a good question. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out by the end. Anyway, so we're going to make pesto. To make pesto, it's very easy. You need, I can move this one actually too. You need a mixer like this one. You put in your almonds. Start with the almonds because the, the almonds are the ones that are going to need the most time to be uh, uh, to be in the in the mixer. So if you put right away your basilicum is gonna get dark. So voila. Always have trouble with my mixer. But let me see. I will do that. No. Nope. So let me do it like that. Probably I didn't put this one right. Here we go. You go. That's why I never do stuff with things. JJ, you have to close the mixer for me. JJ is trying to mix that one, and I'm gonna turn the pasta. JJ is trying to close my mixer. So while the spaghetti are cooking, we are making this delicious pasta. If even JJ can close the mixer, and otherwise we have a problem. Doesn't close. So this is accusing art. Normally it works fantastic, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Somehow he doesn't want to lock it in now. The JJ will do it. This is a live streaming problem. You, so you see, Doug, we don't only have a problem with Intel, we also have problem with uh, technology. So let me take the nuts out. Basically what you're going to do for, to make a pesto, normally the normal pesto is made with uh, pinoli, which is another kind of nuts. But you can make it with walnuts, you can make it with any kind of nuts. I make it today with almond because I like, uh, it's good for the skin, it's very good to, and healthy for us and it's a different kind of thing and it goes well with the tomatoes and everything. You see if JJ is going to be able to crash it and otherwise I just have to tell you with words how to make it. I have actually some that is already made in the refrigerator but I wanted to make it from scratch from you. Does it do? Yes, it does. Thank you JJ. So basically. We pulse the almonds to get them to pieces. Depending on the mixer, we should do it in a second. Here we go. Here you get the, basically your uh, almond. And basically here you take a piece of garlic, there it is, oops, garlic, today it's a, a nothing, it's, just, it's, it's pit in heaven, it's just moving stuff around, so you take a little pit, a piece of uh, garlic, you put it in, you're going to mash, smash the garlic inside, still I have a problem with my mixer, normally I never have a problem with my mixer, today I have a problem with my mixer. The garlic is in, in there and guys it smells and that's the moment where we put in a little bit of salt, not too much. I like to put a little bit of pepper and I like to put my parmesan cheese inside together with the pecorino cheese. Remember I told you put them two together so you get a little bit of a different kick of your pesto. I put in all my olive oil. Here we go. And I put in the fresh Carol basil. Will say that normally people are using uh, pine nuts for the pesto. Yes, I said we call it pinoli, but this is a, a, a different variation of the pesto that I particularly like, and almonds are very good for the skin. So we are getting old, we want to stay young, so almonds are very good for us. And here we do it.
let me check how it's doing so actually I'm gonna keep these two for just for the beauty of my plate at the end I normally always do my and I see if I can do it again I never had this problem with my mixer but anyway this is ready and I'm gonna take it and put it on this little things because I want to be cooking it a little bit with the pasta as you may understand I show you in a second how it turns out my basilicum you can also eat it with bread if you add some roasted bread I mean the garlic the basil the nuts guys you're gonna love it so here we go I move all the stuff on this side I show you how it looks like we are making pasta with home fresh on uh, made a pesto with almonds and um, yes, I think with almond and basilicum of course and pecorino cheese and what else pecorino cheese and parmesan cheese salt paper and all kind of things let me check my pasta while I'm doing it I'm doing everything in once today because uh, you know normally I try to pre-cook my pasta but today I said it's so easy let's do it together so that's the pictures of the pasta we are making so we are gonna be ready in a second ladies and gentlemen here we go so you remember i put the timer the google timer that will tell me when the 10 minutes are over so it's not over when basically it's done we're gonna put the pasta the delicious spaghetti that i'm cooking in there you get the point right we are gonna have our tomatoes and we are gonna be ready to hit so let me see uh diane told me all the things how to the things today we were cooking actually pasta this is the same for spaghetti so this is the best and we are making with cheese this is the sign for cheese and what else uh, we are making with tomatoes which is red and cut it this is tomato and then is basil which is b uh, he has L E I L. This is how you spell basil. You know, I didn't have much time to do all this stuff this morning with all the things that happened with our dear Pete, but uh, normally, you know, we all this sign language. And by the way, by Tuesday, I think I'm going to have also uh, the beautiful mask. JJ, do you know where the mask is anyway? JJ is going to pass me one of these masks. It's being made by Caddy and it's for deaf awareness. JJ is sending me one. Look how cute they are. Wherever I go and I wear one, they all tell me how cute they are and they have signed languages over there. So guys, in a few days on Tuesday, there's going to be a link and it's very limited addictions. We only have 25 of them. So it's going to be a very special for the one that we'll buy. And then if everything goes well, Katty is trying to see if we can find, uh, because Katty made all of them by, uh, by hand. And the new one also has an elastic that you can... Uh, adjust uh, if you have a bigger or a smaller head because the problem was that our cell was wearing the mask and he had a bigger face so the hair were like Dumbo so we were afraid that at the end of COVID-19 he would fly by himself so Katie said we need to have a longer elastic so she made one for cell and now it's available for all of you it's gonna have an adjustment thing so if you have a bigger face you don't have to go around with your ears like this you you can keep your ears normally so we're gonna have also this mask in a few days so let me see if the pasta is ready. Hey Google, how many minutes to my timer? Today we're celebrating 698, you know, the Intel things, and today even my Google is having problem. Hey Google, how many minutes to the timer? One minute and 23 seconds remaining. Is it crazy or what? So one minute and 30 minutes uh, remaining so while we are waiting for that I repeat here we made a delicious pesto we made it with helmet we made it with garlic parmesan cheese and pecorino cheese salt and pepper of course and what else and uh, the fresh basil of course I have I don't know if you guys have a, a plant of fresh basil I have it and I've been a, a, actually able to have it grow as you can see there are many uh, small leaves uh, growing my basil yeah i put just a little cup of water every day my mom told me actually not to put it outside because here in vegas we have a very high temperature so i keep it in the house with the air conditioning going on and off now it's off of course for the program and i put just a little a cup of water not much because if you put too much especially because the vase is not that big uh they don't do very well 
Of course, sometimes uh, when I buy them, I haven't done with this one, I change uh, the, the ground uh, and I put some vitamins inside. And some people even say to put the coffee, uh, the coffee things on the, on the ground is going to make the basilicum stay stronger. I never tried that, but I know that my father was mentioning, so I will probably try. But for the moment, I have it for a few weeks. Okay, Google, stop! That was the Google telling me that the pasta is ready. So, let me do this. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. My spaghetti are ready. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in my bowl. Yes. From my bowl, I'm going to put it in my pesto. You get the drill, right? You've been cooking with me for already so many days. We put this one home and we are putting the pesto all around the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Guys, it smells delicious. I know that every time around this moment you're like, oh, we wish we were there with you. And I, you know what? I wish you were here with me. So this is my, this is one of the most uh, delicious, easy pasta that you can make. I know that normally I make stuff that you can uh, keep in the refrigerator and warm up. I'm not a big fan of warming up this one, but as JJ, if some leftovers are there, he likes to hit them. He even doesn't warm them. He just eat them like this. I'm going to take a little bit of the water from the pasta and I'm going to put it in here. So the pasta, this is why I always say keep it al dente. And here we go. You remember the tomatoes that we made in the oven? We are going to add in the tomatoes. That's why I do it with a paper, because I do like this. And voila, my tomatoes go in in a second. And your pasta is ready. You twist it around for a second, just the time that the water and the tomatoes and everything goes together. Mmm. JJ, can you smell it? I can smell it. JJ can smell it from behind the camera. Of course, there is garlic, and you know when there is garlic, you smell it. So here we go. We switch it off. The pasta is ready. We have made actually a delicious pasta with uh, tomatoes and a fresh basilicum. I put it here in the bowl because I think I made a little bit too much for two, but maybe not. Maybe not. And I'm gonna put it on my plates because of course this is the most beautiful part of the whole cooking together. At least it's gonna be my lunch. I'm gonna put the pasta in here with some of those delicious tomatoes. Mmm, guys, I wish you were here with me to smell. It's delicious, so here it's one. I prepare one also for JJ. We are a family of two. And I know my mom is watching at home. My mom makes pesto all the time. She makes it with the original one, with the pinoli. She also made this one, of course. And I know already what my mom is saying. My mom is saying that I should have moved all the stuff in the front. That's what she always say. You have to clean up the kitchen. Ma, that's why I'm not you. That's why I'm me. I am a singer and I just cook for fun. So here are my pasta. Of course, I kept some of my uh, Parmesan cheese and Pecorino cheese together. I put it on top of it. Voila. Just for the beauty of it, I put some fresh basil on my plate. And by the way, you can eat it because it's just delicious. And this is my recipe for today. So I am gonna actually, normally, let me clean up like my mom would say, let me move stuff around to make it more elegant because we're gonna have like a chin chin to life. You know, we lost, JJ and I, we lost our dear, dear beloved Pete. So I will invite JJ here to hit the pasta with me and to have a change into your father. Pete, if you're watching from heaven, I wish we were, you were here with us. This is my uh, delicious Prosecco. We had last Friday an episode about Prosecco. So if you want to know, you can go back on jada.life and JJ and I, we're going to have a chin chin to life. This is for Pete. And uh, so let's have a chin chin first. Chin to chin life. to life. So guys, I wish you were here with mm. us. We have to celebrate life because we never know how long life is going to be. This is the pasta we made. JJ and I will be enjoying lunch in a second. You want to try it before, before you go to the other side? Because JJ has to switch off the camera. That's what is going to happen. Guys, I want to thank you. Let me try first. 
Mmm. And put the little tomatoes. How is it, JJ? Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. So. It's really good. It's very good. So take your uh, Prosecco, JJ. I'm there with you. So it was a pleasure to be here with you, even on uh, this kind of bittersweet day for us. We're going to have uh, the last farewell for Pete on uh, Thursday, actually. So Thursday on my Ajada Live, I will be telling you because actually it's happening in the middle of the night for us in Las Vegas because the funeral is uh, taking place in Holland, in the Netherlands. So on Thursday, I will tell you how the last for a while because the good things about COVID-19 is that all the churches and uh, all the funeral homes have cameras. So we will be able to see on Zoom the last farewell of Pete. So it's going to be... We're gonna be with him, like I originally wanted. So Pete, if you're watching us, we made pasta for you today. Chin chin to live. Guys, I love you all. You have been part of my circle of, you're my friends and my family, and you have been part of what I call the circle of love. You've been with me for more than 100 episodes. I, I don't know, chin chin to life, grazie, it looks great, Joseph Rainone. If you make, thank you also to Roger Scallion for your continued support. If you guys are making any of my recipe, make sure that you take pictures of you. And this is gonna be extra, extra special if you do it today. So take pictures of you. If you buy a book of any one of my guests, please take a picture of yourself. I'm gonna see you on Tuesday. Tuesday, my guest is gonna be a, a Grammy Award winner, singer and producer, Steve Tyrell. You are gonna adore him. Him and listen, the name is Steve Tyrell, but you found out he's Italian too. He has Italian roots. I don't know if he speaks some Italians, but he's Italian. He's, uh, I don't know if he's 100% Italian or 50% Italian, but he's Italian. So you're going to love Steve Tyrell on Tuesday. Guys, I love you. I want to thank Diane Fiorentino for the sign language. I, I, I didn't have much time to learn, but it was... It's, I want to learn more, and I know you guys have been learning with me. Guys, I really do love you. Thank you for being part of my life. life. I'm going to have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. If you join my pay, Patreon page, same time, 2 p.m. On my Patreon page, there's the link, patreon.com slash Valenti for some songs. Finally, I, can, I will be using the, the mixer that Doug bought for me and I will be singing tomorrow. We're going to test the system to see if it works. So if you haven't joined my Patreon page, go on my Patreon page and tomorrow I will be seeing you for a couple of songs that uh, I will be singing to you. So we're going to be celebrating uh, more life and love tomorrow on my Patreon page. Guys, I love you. Chin chin to life. I'm going to have my lunch with me pasta al pesto with almonds. And I'm going to be seeing you uh, tomorrow on Patreon and then on Tuesday again on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitch, Periscope, and also you guys there on Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn. How oh, many, many names? Chin chin, guys. Dies to live. Giada Valentia from Las Vegas. E ci vediamo domani su Patreon. Chin chin. Mm. Yeah. Danke schön.